gosh, let's do that right here. Oh my goodness, look at all these lads. So many. They've been squirted. Oh yeah, big time. They're all soggy. You know what the best part about this? The one on the end is gonna live? Yeah. And it can't live a squirt flower either. Hmm. He's got his own squirt gag. Oh my gosh. Can I zap you? The cogs are, please. The cogs are learning, they're adapting. <laughs> What's annoying about the burrs, it doesn't send you to Lawbot HQ until like the tail end when you need your soup. Yeah, we do need to start hitting up Lawbot HQ sometime yeah. soon. Either like near the yeah, end of stream haven't... or like the start of the We haven't really stream. been, I guess we yeah, haven't been the main task, but. We've been getting, like it's it's all buildings. Like yeah. if it was at least like I'm go kill sure when cogs. We, when we got to Burr, Moral Support Pig and some other chatters were like, the Burr is like the most annoying because it doesn't give you stuff for Lawbot HQ on like all of the other HQ task line areas. Yeah, mm. that is pretty annoying. Yes, at least one bean counter. Nice. He's got so many beans to count. He can count them in the afterlife. Bum, 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 bum. Moral support pig, you've been playing this game for so long. How are you only 120 left? Isn't the max like 140 something? I think it might be 150 now. Yo, two more bean counters. I think I'm only gonna be Ooh. short one. Because you still have a life? A likely story. Prove it. <laughs> okay, Moral Support Pig got real in chat. <laughs> oh! <laughs> bum, 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 uh, Moral Support bum, Pig. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, look! A cog with 2 HP again. Oh, whoa. What are the odds? No, my 4 HP! That's the same amount of damage a squirt flower does. Wait a second. <laughs> it's all adding up. Suddenly it's oh, all yeah. making sense. Oh yeah, all coming together. <laughs> exactly. All right, show off. <laughs> well, it's still okay. technically squirt. That was an interesting animation due to <laughs> probably Moral Support Pig having the big tune effect. Did you also see where Moral Support Pig went higher than the ladder allowed and was just like <laughs> yeah. climbing air for a little bit there? All right, this worked out amazingly for me. That was like three of my bean counters I needed. I do think and there was I only like up. one level five cog though, which sucks. Level yeah. up. Oh yeah, because it was five pluses. Yeah. Oh well. Time to fight on this. For streets. some reason, I thought it was just um, five cogs. Yeah. Hey, Cash, you want to know what's next after the five bean counters? It's oh. a two-story cash pot building. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> Alright, you can hang out with Moral Support Pig with your squirt zap shenanigans far away from me. No, no why? I'm just trying what? to get it done now. I'm just trying to get oh, it done. Oh, now you're just trying to get it done. Okay. <laughs> Are you guys having fun? This man specifically, no. I was like, I don't want to have to do your zap training. I can't help you with it because I don't have squirt. So just go do it somewhere else, and then he runs into the bean counter that only I need. <laughs> it's level five. You're you're the human worst, and the tune worst. You can be the okay, you can be the tune worst. Uh, RTK is the human worst. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I don't have lure anymore. Oh no. <laughs> this is why I don't want to be with you. <laughs> I literally need like 20, I'm pretty sure that that said 24 experience, that would have given oh, me man. my level 7 trap, but here you are, ruining everything. <laughs> you told me to do this, you told me to get I rid of it. I told you to switch to Zap, I didn't tell you to join this fight with me! <laughs> okay, now go away. Yeah, I'm leaving. Leave me alone. Oh, these bean counters are drops, they're not even just be bean counters, I hate everything. Oof. 
And of course, Lone Wolf already got his bean drops. I hate that guy. <laughs> Pretty sure I got, got them all first. first I'll kill you. Why would you even <laughs> say words? Just keep your cheating to yourself. <laughs> Goodness. Oh. All, all right. right. We need Back another to conversation Bumbuck. topic. Whose turn is it? I already got plenty of discussion earlier. I think Jet brought up the Halloween thing. Uh, yep. Slyro. Mm. Oh. Conversation do topic, Slyro? What, what do you mean? Uh, I, I don't do conversations. <laughs> well, you best, you best start. I don't, I, don't, I don't start conversations. <laughs> you best start believing in ghost stories. <laughs> I got nothing. Maybe ghost stories. What's the, what's the spookiest thing that you've ever done? Uh, literally do nothing. I didn't celebrate I Halloween. You think I did spooky stuff? Horror is my least favorite genre. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, by spooky stuff, I mean, what is, like, the thing that's been, like, the scariest or kind of I don't get scared. This is why like... I don't like roller coasters and I don't like horror. It's like... I rarely get scared, and if I do get scared, there's no amount of, like, enjoyment from oh, it. Gosh. For me. I need a board bot cog building in ye olden Toontown. Why? <laughs> Uh, is that for the rank up task? What were they okay, doing? Oh, the yeah. rank up task. Okay. I was about to say. That's not the main task. No. I was about to <laughs> be like, anything. what were they doing with the Burr main task line? They were just throwing like darts at a at a <laughs> wall. Uh... All right, who's in the Burr? I, I can't teleport there yet. I'm here, but I'm also looking for movers and shakers. I can't believe right, well, that you there. did your. Oh, that's right. Jet needs the three teeth from the movers and shakers. Right. That should be on Sleet Street mm. if you're not already there, Jet. Oh, okay. You gonna share Hello, with the rest please. of the class? I don't need to be here. <laughs> I just Fair, ran by mind? a level six in uh, a level six mover and shaker and yield. I'm pretty sure it's anywhere. It's got to be anywhere because we did it at the the boss thing. Here, I got some tuna sandwich. Do you want some? Yeah, I don't like I tuna. Can go for a tuna sandwich. <laughs> right now. It's actually a really good recipe. It involves using uh, tuna hummus and, bread. and a salad. You put salad yeah, on it's... your sandwich? Tuna it's salad. salad. It's mixed in with it. It's tuna salad. I don't like sandwiches. <laughs> I love sand. I had a sandwich for lunch. I, I, dude, like I wish that I like the like the only lunch. sandwich I do is like a PB and J. I'm just like not a like like a lunch meat on bread. It just doesn't appeal. Burger to me is a sandwich. I mean, technically speaking, but yeah, it has like the, <laughs> burger, start this the burger is the classic case of like transcending its classification. Man, now I want a burger. Yeah. You guys are mean. <laughs> So right. do, we were to, to, hey, to listen grill. to this. We were talking about uh, July 4th before stream because it was recently. Sly didn't right. even have a burger or a hot dog or anything. I mean, did I, I didn't either. Wait. I had steak. Okay, okay. I was like, I don't... Wait, I had you, had already, you, you had a grilled like, food. Like, I did have grilled food, yes. I had a bratwurst. Ooh. I mean, I don't remember what I ate, but cause I didn't eat anything in Did you know, in go see family on the 4th? Nah. Okay, well, if you didn't go see family on the 4th, then I'm on Slyro's side. Why would you do anything <laughs> special for the 4th if you're not with family? I went to my grandfather's and he grilled steak. If I hadn't gone to my yeah, grandfather's yeah. on the 4th, like, if my grandparents were, like, were busy the 4th, then I wouldn't have done anything special. I wouldn't have grilled. You wouldn't have, you wouldn't have made a burger or anything? I would, like, no, I would dinner? not, because if I'm making a burger, I only want to make a burger if I'm grilling it, and I would not have gone through all the hoops of grill. Well, I say hoops. It's not that complicated, but I would not have gone out of my way to grill if my grandparents were not around that day. Instead, I would have been like, okay, well, like, are you free later in the week? I'll grill on, like, Thursday or something, because the 4th was a Tuesday. But they were available like, on Tuesday, and my grandfather was like, I'm going to make steak, because you normally grill for us anyway. So. I don't need a holiday to eat a burger. I can eat a burger whenever exactly. I want. Exactly. It's just in the spirit of things. <laughs> I do not believe in doing special meals for holidays unless it's a family setting. That's my take. Yeah. Yeah, I think I agree. If I'm, if That's I'm fair. like, if a holiday comes up, I will reach out to my grandparents and be like, hey, are we going to do anything for insert holiday here? And then it'll be like, all right, well, like, am I going to grill? Are you going to grill? Is my grandmother going to like make something in the oven? And if none of that is occurring, I'll be like, all right, well, I'm just going to like throw food in the air fryer. Like, I'm not going to do anything special. If I'm not like meeting with family or anything, I'm already not having the, already the holiday is not special really in any way because I'm not spending it with anyone so why would i go out of my way to like do a dish kind of deal i guess that's fair that being said every time like a holiday that isn't something stupid like labor day comes up i i contact my grandparents like hey we gonna do anything and then nine times out of ten neither my grandfather or i are grilling yeah my family has our set like we get together for 
Easter, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, and yeah, that, like that's Easter, it. Easter, the fourth. Also, my family does the fourth. Uh, Thanksgiving, my sister comes home, and then she and my grandmother do like a a big thing of cooking and whatnot. They like handle mm -hmm. all of Thanksgiving. All my grandfather and I do is carve the turkey. I do also want to say, I do feel like we've, uh, focused a little hard on the main task today. So we probably do want to consider going to Lawbot HQ today. Yeah, perhaps. Because, I mean, I don't think we're like, we, we just started the Burr last stream, so I'm absolutely not thinking like, oh, we're getting close. I doubt we're even halfway yet, but I imagine we'll at least get to halfway today. And you know, we got we got to get those tin soup pieces. We don't want to have to have a Cellbot HQ repeat. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, I have a wrecking ball now. Nice. Ooh. Call me Ralph. Cuz I'm going to wreck it. Really? Absolutely, I have a wrecking ball. That's my first level 7, right? Sure is. Wow. 411 zap to go, and still 2200 off on drop. I thought it was closer than that. Thought I was closer than that. Snooty Sinjin. That, you know, that's a Michael tune right there. <laughs> Gives that vibe. You know, we're at, like, the two-hour mark. Do we want to, like, say as soon as we get to a little bit of a stop running around to task-to-task to task point, like, go hit up the first law office? Because we got to yeah. do ten of them. There are ten of them. Let me... Hold on. Let me see what my tasks are. Like, I'm not even doing anything related to the main task right now. I'm, I'm doing two different rank-up tasks kind of at the same time. Very fair. That's what I'm going to be doing here in a minute. Yeah, I would really like to finish my teleport task so I can start doing... This is... Alright, this is cogs anywhere, so yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine doing that. The building I was going to for my task got taken over before my very eyes. It was Rip. falling as I was trying to walk into it. Oh, that's it sucks. so sad. This game sucks. I'm sucks refunding time. it. I don't blame you. I have to change districts now. Ridiculous. I actually have a kudos to beat nine more 10 level, uh, level 10 plus cogs, so it would actually be really good for me to go do a law office right now. Mm. Coconut lemon marble. You know what? There are five of us. You're being Gosh, such a nerd it. about it, Michael. You can just sit out. How about that? No, I need, I need, <laughs> I said I need cogs Yeah, anywhere. I know. You're over here being like, oh man, that doesn't help my task line right now. Yeah, it's really not going to help your task line when we all get to the end and you have seven more law offices to do than the rest of us. Does someone want to teleport to me and heal me? <laughs> <laughs> I need to be healed. I'll be there in a sec. The uh, most selfish tune I know. <laughs> all right, I'm coming. I'm coming. Hey, just lower right, the mic quick, so quick. they can't hit you for a little bit. <laughs> wrong one. <laughs> That's normally what I would the wrong do. one. Please, please. <laughs> I'm coming. It really is a two-story cash bot building, isn't it, Lone Wolf? Yeah. And all yeah. of these cash bot buildings around me are three stories. Get in here. I'm, I'm getting in here. I mean, we could probably do a three-story if you just want to, want to right, get it done. Uh, yeah. Do thinking. you have? You still have the two-story task? No, I'm, I'm done with the rank of task, but I was just saying, if, if you want some help, just get it done. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, get over Party here. Party cannon! I'm right here at and... it, Let's get over here. Fire! <laughs> yeah, I mean you're at the same rank as me, so you get this. Uh, this will be a good bonus for us. Cause how much does the? Can you see it from? All right, Jet. I'm going to zap this thing, and I need the experience. So you have to do something else. Okay. Uh, what? Yeah, we have see? plus you two playground experience. Oh so yeah, like I can do double, that. Double, double multiplier, like two levels higher of the multiplier in Barnacle. Ooh. It's like at level one and level six, rank one oh, and rank yeah. six, they give you the bonuses. I should be going there for Bing. um. Grinding yeah. up my zap. Yeah, you should be honestly. <laughs> you should be going here or Toontown Central. The kudos well, system doing, is um, so good. Yeah, I guess even if there's not an invasion, I, it would probably be better. 
Let's see. Oh, there is the invasion in there. Alright, I'm going there. Come on! Alright, let's just sound this floor. 40 experience! We're on a three-story building and we get 40 experience for level 5 gags. Wow. I'd love to say a lot. Dude, that's what I'm saying. That plus two playground experience is intense. Why is there a level seven big fish in this cash bot building? <laughs> <laughs> There's no it's logic in the big reason. fish. Big fish. Yeah, big fish. Oh, thank goodness. I would love to actually get reasonably close to level six or level seven drop. Have you gotten your level seven drop yet, Lone Wolf? Yeah, I got it when we, when we uh, finish the five story. Nice, 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 nice. Mm. Nice giant rock you have there, sir. That's a big rock. <laughs> it's a big rock. Oh my gosh, a giant rock. That's the one. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting 12 experience for one um, level two zap. No, come here. I'm. Yeah. You stupid mover and shaker. <laughs> Come here. I'm gonna paint the road with your oil. Are you okay? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> so violent. That's her. <laughs> Michael, like did you ever violent. end up playing more of Tears of the Kingdom? No, I'm kind of, um, I did like the first, um, dungeon That's area. And I started heading so towards <laughs> the next one and I just kind of like, I don't know, I kind of got bored. <laughs> Dude, you got bored even quicker than I did, which is totally fair. It's just like... Sound fast, Lone Wolf. Even though it is like somewhat different from Breath of the Wild in some ways, it's and not. like is better, it it's like, for me, the like style of gameplay was such a flash in the pan with Breath of the Wild that like, it's just not like really I want to keep having this conversation, but I do have to ask, has anyone else ever heard flash in the pan before? Yeah. I've never heard that saying before in my life That's until this day. Really? I believe you that it's a saying 100%. I just wanted to know if anyone else had heard it. Yeah, that's a new one for me, but that's cool. Hmm. Yeah, flash no, in the like, pan uh... is just like simi similar. Huh? It means flash in the pan just means. No, it's is like very it, it's um no, it's like um like a once in a lifetime kind of like it's 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 like a flash like it, you can't replicate it. Okay, like a flash. Like, so the like, flash is one. a flash of lightning. Sure, kind of, or like um like uh like a like flambe. Like lightning in a bottle. Sure, yeah, it's like lightning in a bottle. So you're saying that really Breath of the difference. Wild like, was like a one-time deal and like having another Breath yeah, of the Wild for, game Yeah, for like, me, especially, because it came out like at that perfect time where I like had a bunch of free time to play through it all and I was like, you know, just playing yeah. it every day and it was fresh and new and fun. But like, it's it's just Breath of the Wild again. It's, it's some super, slightly it's like better... insta-stale. Yeah, it's like... It's just not like really. Which dungeon did you do? Did you fun. do the Rito? I did. Um, yeah, I did. Okay, that's what I figured. That's where they kind of the nudge you towards. I did Gerudo first, though. Slyro, did you ever play Tears of the Kingdom? Uh, yeah, I played a couple hours. I think maybe. So these guys get in. Do it again. I think I maybe did the, the like the intro a little bit, and then like I had intention to play more. Um, I just have not as much free time and I just divide it among better things to do. Very fair and understandable. <laughs> Lone Wolf and I have both beaten it and I was rendering out some of the last of it the other day which is why I wanted to bring it up specifically to Michael. I didn't know if you had played or had interest in it at all, Slyro, but I oh, yeah. like 100% it is not like it is better than Breath of the Wild gameplay and mechanics and all because it did improve at least somewhat over it. However, as when I hit like the 25 30 hour mark i was like no it's still just breath of the wild like the amount yeah. of difference that the game had wore off on me so fast and very very quickly i realized that the game was right back to to the same old i think you should do that one wolf to get us out of here i very quickly realized that the game was right back to hey it's the same thing over and over again like do you guys care about any spoilers it sounds like you're not gonna play it at all I, no i mean i i kind of do like it depends on, like, how serious the spoilers are. About what the dungeon is like. No, not really. Slyro? 
Oh, no, I don't care. Okay, I, yeah, I so, like, the Rito dungeon of, hey, explore around here and take the new power-up to the four new things, that's every dungeon. It's, it's mm. literally every dungeon, but with, like, a different stylistic flavor. I did the... I did the water dungeon, and in the water dungeon, they have you do, like, low gravity jumps, which is kind of neat to get around, but it's still just, hey, walk over here, do, like, a very basic puzzle, have Sidon activate the thing, and then I got to the fire dungeon after that, and the fire dungeon was like, hey, walk Yonobu over here, do a small, like, magnet, like, move this around to finish the puzzle, and, but this time, instead of zero G, you ride a minecart to get to the next room to do oh. it, but it's literally the same, like, they're they're all the same generic formula, mm -hmm. and it uh, it just really added to the getting bored because it was when I did the the water temple was the third one I did, and that's when I really started to feel like okay I'm getting the same thing with Breath of the Wild but even sooner of man this game is so tedious and like it's just the same thing repeatedly. Yeah, it's and and to be completely honest, I also really don't like the like building mechanics and stuff oh, i find that agree. very tedious yeah and, and that's like what all the puzzles the are yeah, yeah it is it is not my style of gameplay no it's it's not, not zelda which and it's like it's so weird to me to see people who are like clamoring for more of this i, I know right? and i'm gonna be so sad and disappointed if like the next Zelda game is this again. I think that's already, like, kind of confirmed, is it not? They said they're going like, to do an open-world formula. They, uh, at the very least, they need to stop being in the Calamity setting. Yeah, like, yeah. At minimum. definitely move on from this. Move on from, like, the shrine style of, like, gameplay. The and, shrines like, are really boring. The shrines are, like, especially in this one. I like the shrines in, in Breath of the Wild, but like I said, you know, there's only so much of the same you can do. And, like, they really just need to make the dungeons, like, good a thing again. Because, like, that is always my favorite part about, like, previous Zelda games. Like, think about how fun, like, the, like, um, any of the areas you can in one, you Skyward can Sword. <laughs> well, because I was going to say, the like... The Ancient Cistern. The, I can yeah, do it that if he one. can. The Ancient yeah. Cistern. The, um, um, yeah. the, uh, I don't remember the name of it, but I think it's just Elden Volcano, where you get to fight the Mulgara at the end, and you have to like le you have to like do the Indiana Jones run away from the thing. Twilight Princess has the um, the ancient has, uh, has the, uh, the, uh, the spinning the, um, top Arbiter's dungeon. Ground. Yeah, yeah, Arbiter's Ground. That's what it's called and whatnot. The There's one with this, the Yetis. Oh, the Yeti one. Yeah, that the, one's uh, really cool. The far distant uh, like deceased mansion or like abandoned mansion. It's just like. The thing is, is the problem is, is that in those dungeons, right, they can introduce a new game mechanic. And this is what I figured out was my biggest issue with, uh, like, just the premise of how Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild work, is that in the older Zelda games, because of the linearity, they can have you unlock new things, and then, like, when you get to a dungeon, you get a new ability, you get a new thing. They can't do that in the open yeah, world ones, because they need to give you the ability to do almost everything right there's out no, the gate. They can't hide no it behind a dungeon. There's no sense of progression. Yeah, exactly. And I hate that. It sucks. It, yeah, it just really f takes away, like, takes the wind out of my sails. With Tears of the Kingdom, I've been under the idea that the quest line leading up to a dungeon is part of the dungeon as well, which I think makes the dungeons somewhat different from each other. But they do like... have different lead-ups. However, like, the thing is, is those none of those lead-ups have puzzles, right? Because that's the main thing, is that all the dungeon puzzles are the same. Walk over here, do a little bit of, like, magnet movement or whatever to, like, unlock a door or make a pathway, and then use special ability to activate thing. All of the lead-ups are just like, hey, walk to area, like, in fun, in, like, like fun different way. But there's not, like, an actual puzzle to any of them. Yeah. And I was like, thinking oh, about it, I actually, the, like... Did you bring cold food for this one, or did you bring the fire yeah. food for that one? That's another yeah. thing the about cold, it, it's just, dude, like, the, the... I I was willing to, like, start throwing hands with people in chat over it. I think that the cold hot mechanic is one of the worst things in the game. It, it just gets it's so just boring like, and tedious. It's not engaging. Also, the cooking, like, just takes way too long. It takes so long, you can only cook one thing at a time, you have to pick out all of your ingredients every time or like go into the recipe menu which is tedious it's just like nothing about the game is encouraging me to want to keep playing it 
what I was trying to say earlier is the thing that I've discovered, and I mostly, like, really realized it because I had started playing FF16 right as I finished Tears of the Kingdom, is it's oh, just... just storm cloud. The gameplay is so shallow because they focus so much on the world being big and open as well as, like, the being able to build and whatnot. Like, all of the combat in Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild as well boils down to just, like, press B to, to dodge to get the Fluir Rush and then press Y to hit. Yeah, just, the, like, the have stupid, a good like, weapon. The stupid little ghost people, like, using their abilities is annoying, and pretty much all of their abilities suck other than Riju. Like, two lens is good for, like, traversal, which means you're not using it in combat anyway. And then Reju's is good in combat, but even then it's very meh to me. So, like, and it's annoying to have to chase after them and press A on them to get them to use their ability. I think it's very irritating to yeah, do. Yeah, it's just, like, the, the, the gameplay cycle and, like, just the progression through the game and story is not, like, fun and engaging. Because nothing that happens throughout all of Breath of the Wild and all of what I've played of Tears of the Kingdom has been even remotely as, like, fun and exciting and, like, cool as, like, oh, I just got, like, the double hook shot. Or, like, oh, I finally got bombs. Dude, exactly. Like, it's just, it's so... The lack of actual progression just makes, especially the further in the game you get, the more tedious it feels to me. Yeah, it's, it's just... My only major hope now is that I just really hope they they do um I hope that Nintendo at some point like splits the Zelda team into two. Yeah. Cuz it honestly. took like 6 years to make Tears of the Kingdom and that was reusing a bunch of stuff as well from Breath of the Wild. Like have one team make make your open world nonsense and then mm -hmm. get another team making a traditional like 3D Zelda dungeon. They can dungeon certainly world. afford to do that. I mean, Zelda is especially after Especially after Breath Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the, Wild, of the yeah, Kingdom is money. a cash cow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just like and there's nothing inherently wrong with the open world formula because my favorite game of all time is Xenoblade Chronicles, which is the best open world game I've ever played. Oh, Xenoblade 1 is so good. It's like with just it's, incredible it's exploration blend, and progression. It's blend of linearity and open worldness and side quests is like unrivaled. It's, it's so good. But also, yeah, back to the like the gameplay thing is like in in Tears of the Kingdom, it's literally just like dodge and press Y and all of the bosses are like, hey, look, this boss is just use new special ability you got and then press Y on them. Like, they all boil down to the same boring stuff, basically. Yeah. But, um, which is super disappointing. Yeah. Like, I want to finish it. Yeah, that's right. Like, I mean, the good like, news I is, care is about, that you can like, speedrun it. Yeah. 